Okay, welcome back to Cheddar, everyone. We are now joined by Ben Irwin, Vice President of Business Development at Charity Buzz, here to talk to us all about he is helping and his business is helping raise money for nonprofits and maybe give us a real life example um, of one of the things up for auction. Well, one of our favorite experiences right now is lunch with John at uh -huh. Cheddar and the opportunity to sit, I think, in this chair and be on air for a little bit. But it's part of a bigger, it's part of a bigger thing, okay? And I, I should say that my auction uh, contribution, the money we raise for our charity, and Charity Buzz is like the big celebrity, you, you do things to raise money, everybody does a Charity Buzz, um, is my wife had the, the gene, BRCA1, uh, BRCA1, that results in, uh, that, that's highly correlated to breast cancer. Um, and she's been very much involved uh, with an organization called the Bastard Center at Penn. So I'm raising money for research into the genetic, uh, the genetic condition which is correlated with breast cancer. Yep. Yeah. But what is the larger auction that I'm part of? So it's the second annual entrepreneur auction. Yeah. Uh, and it features leaders of every type of industry giving up their time, their expertise, all to support causes that are near and dear to their heart. So like you, John, it gives anyone an opportunity to leverage their own time, support something they really care about. And you got Kevin O'Leary is in it. Mark Cuban's in Mark it. Mark Cuban's in it. We've got Steve Ballmer. We have Cindy Crawford, Harvey Weinstein. It's over 150 different business experiences, all supporting different causes, slated to raise over one and a quarter million dollars. And what are some of the experiences that they are auctioning off, or lot, that they're a part of? A lot of it's giving folks the opportunity to pitch a business idea, get their business plan reviewed. So mm -hmm. it's pitch meetings, it's power lunches, mm -hmm. it's shadow sessions, maybe around on the golf course, mm -hmm. ways that you can really broker a relationship with a business leader mm -hmm. and hopefully lead it to a deal that you can close later on. And this is the second annual entrepreneur category as well. So why the decision to move into entrepreneurs and did you have you received a lot of feedback so far and a lot of people signing up? It's a good question. So Charity Buzz was founded on the idea of spending time with movie stars, musicians, celebrities. And back in 2013, we had our watershed moment. We auctioned off a 30-minute cup of coffee with Tim Cook at Apple uh -huh. that raised $610,000 for RFK Human Rights. So at that moment, we started to realize the value of business leaders and their time. Uh -huh. And we really started to culminate and bring this all together uh -huh. under the Entrepreneur Auction brand. So year one, mm -hmm. raised $908,000. And like I said before, this year we're hoping to break $1.25 million. Mm -hmm. Our bidders love it. It gives them the opportunity to forge that relationship and the best part is why, all the yeah. funds go to great why, why an entrepreneur uh, slash business charity buzz? I mean, is there, is there that much enthusiasm for the category? It is our number one most popular category now. So oh, see, I'm glad I asked. I asked that kind of as a puffball, but I'm surprised that it was it's number one. I would not have thought that it was number one. And for a charity, it's great because most charities don't have relationships with movie stars, with musicians, right. with sports. Mm -hmm legends, but they have a board of directors uh -huh. that are usually comprised of leaders of business. So mm -hmm. we're showing them new ways to monetize these connections mm -hmm. and find new donors, new supporters amongst the Charity Buzz community. Yeah, it would seem like you could even do like like a boring person at Goldman Sachs who was like a mid-level banker. There's probably a lot of people that want to have lunch with that person too. I wouldn't call them boring, but yes, I think yeah. many of the major <laughs> financial institutions would do really well. It gives people a new way to think about I mean, about it doesn't have to be Kevin O'Leary and Cindy Crawford. It could be Joe Smith. Uh, private placements in Morgan Stanley, probably a lot of kids want to have lunch with him. There's an inherent value in having that meeting. And yes. you're walking into that meeting, supporting a cause they believe in. Uh -huh. So I bet you, John, when you meet the winner of your auction, yeah. you're going to have a great time right off the bat because they supported a cause that is really near and dear oh, to your Oh, I'm going to show that kid, and I assume it's going to be a kid, you know, I I'm going to show them the time of their life. I'm going to make them do the show. We're going to have lunch. I'm gonna, it's, it's gonna be a full-fledged experience. If, if you do my auction, and, and the Bastard Center is gonna love it, and you're gonna love the experience. Awesome. I mean, I'll probably make Kristen do like half of it too, but you know, it's gonna be great. We'll do it, I, I'm on board, definitely. Peter, I'll ask to do it. He'll be distracted, won't be involved like he is with everything. <laughs> Thanks, John. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sitting down there. Who are most of the people bidding um, on the different things you put out there? The Charity Bus has a community of about 200,000 of the most qualified, affluent, socially conscious individuals in the world. So a lot of them are successful business people, aspiring entrepreneurs, so they use our platform as a way of getting in the door with the next person who they can broker a deal with. So it's a global audience, we're in 109 countries. Uh -huh. It's people that not only have a vested interest in supporting great causes, uh -huh. but they have a desire to win all these awesome, unique experiences. So it might not be a kid joining us. You never know, based on what you it said, it might not. not be a kid.
I, I, yeah, I, I didn't mean to like just say it could only be kids. I just kind of assume. <laughs> I mean, I'm really big with I'm really big with like people in their 20s. I'm like uh, I'm like a beaver type character. A so I, I just I assume <laughs> I, 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 I I just feel like I'm gonna get like some really aggressive kid in their 20s. But your point is maybe. Maybe someone with more wealth will just bid them out and it'll... Yeah, or you know, a lot of people use Charity Buzz as a, a great platform for the gift-giving time. Yeah. So it might be a parent buying it for their kids, someone in college, business school. So mm -hmm. who knows? A, but we know it's gonna be a parent great. should definitely buy the Charity Buzz with their kid. That's, that's, that's what every kid wants for Hanukkah Absolutely. or Christmas. What is it going for? With me. Oh, What's it's it like it starts at like a dollar. I don't know. I'll be lucky. We're up to over a thousand dollars. Oh, mine's up to a thousand already. That's a steal. You really I, do I may, have believers. I, I may have to do like what Steve Cohen does, which is like you bid on your own thing, so that like you know, like, and then he just has lunch himself. You don't have any rules against that, unless if you're willing to. Pay It'll be for your it, dream you lunch. On. Eat alone at the bar. Oh, <laughs> me alone at the Palm Bar. Oh, the uh, best lunch ever. Okay, yeah. thank you for joining. That's us. worth any Thank you guys price. so much.